but this is this is the 12 day program uh, it is the most comprehensive program that we have here at Space Camp. You guys will be immersed in as much and as realistic uh, programs and close to astronaut training as we can give you. You guys are going to be divided up in. Uh, you're going to be divided up into uh, the orbiter, a mission control site. You're also going to have kids on the International Space Station, and at some point, you're even going to have International Space Station mission control. Uh, or Space Station that's used for scientific, uh, scientific experiments during the missions. You set your own timeline, decide what experiments you're doing, all of that stuff. But we tell you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let me break my leg. <laughs> <laughs> At first I'm like, fun would be terrible. Mm -hmm. okay, I just went, I just went, do it. You did. What? You were disowned as well. <laughs> It'll be your idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't going to blame it at all on you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the orbiter is divided up into several different locations. Uh, of course, the flight deck above uh, is where the commander pilot and the two mission specialists will be during launch and landing. Oh. Yeah, Natalie, you know why it's Velcro? Because it moves. Because the one in your own. Oh, yeah. Just because float. Because so everything's Velcro. Uh, it's pretty oh. awesome. No, I just want to, like, control it. <laughs> you want to be a pilot? Good for you. No. I could be a pilot. I think I could be a pilot. Be fun. Like an aviator. <laughs> For like a real mission, each one of these positions would exist, and then each position would have a, its own support staff of about 20 people working under that person. So mission control is actually a lot larger than what we use. We just simplify each area down to one person. All the positions that you see here, flight director is the person that's in charge of the mission. Kato is communications and tracking officer. Inco is integrated communications, primarily deals with the weather. Uh, mission scientist uh, is support for the space station, handles all scientific aspects of the mission. Uh, ACO is assembly checkout officer, uh, makes sure that the EVA is, has been done properly. And all the
problems are sometimes you're, they think you may be simply reading and you won't get a caution or misreading and you won't get a backup CW, but you'll still have to do a solution that requires you resetting the system. If there is a backup CW, that means it's probably a genuine problem and you're still, you may have to do a more complex solution to your problem. So any questions about the backup CW? Right. Now, C slash P means uh, the commander or the pilot, either one can do it. Because it's at, the C, it's at the C panel, which is right there between them both. Yeah. Both of them can get the keypads very easily. Which side does the commander sit on? The left. The left. So, can the pilot get at that? No. That's right. Unless there's a situation where the pilot's out of, his, out of their seat. Okay. Yes, we can. <laughs> We don't have any problem with these kids with cameras. <laughs> sure we won't. Was it putting this on? Right? Okay, I was. Come on, let's go. I'm going. Let's see some hustle. Have some hustle. All right, let's go. Um, pushy, pushy. Jeez.